did it, your relationships with your workmates, with your family, did it worsen? At times, ayaw ko nang makipag-associate or mingle with them kasi, di ba, they just laugh at you, you know? And I was so desperate kasi nga, yung nawawala sa akin, it's not only the confidence, it's actually my entire life. Yeah, actually, it was a struggle. I had this problem with my hair, receding hairline, and it kept me from a lot of my activities, especially at work and my recreational and to my friends as well. We had this familial predisposition for baldness. It runs in our family, and because of my age and the hectic of my work, the stress that I felt every day, also, because of unhealthy hair habits, I was fond of really putting hair color in my hair during the 1990s. Because of these factors, I started to have, you know, a problem with my hair. And I usually felt initially the loss of the texture. The texture is becoming dry. And then I had this hair fall every time I shampoo or style my hair. And then Eventually, I noticed I had this thinning part of my hair. I felt bad. I, I lost the confidence. The feeling ba na parang you're broken. Parang there's a part of me who is actually lost. Usually, it affected my work. Okay? It affected my dealings with anybody else. Nahihiya ako. Kasi minsan, when I go out, diba, they try to really recognize you at once because of this noticeable hair loss. And they try to call you names. Diba? At times, minsan, ayaw ko nang makipag-associate or mingle with them kasi diba, they just laugh at you. you know? the, the topic will just revolve on, on, on your hair situation. And it's really struggle. Yeah, I was so desperate. I, I tried a lot of things. You know? I, everything in the market, I ko lahat yun. I even, you know, uh, since I'm a doctor, I was able to know about, you know, taking pills that will try to stimulate hair growth. Lahat yung ginawa ko. Yung nawawala sa akin, it's not only the confidence, it's actually my entire life. And I was so desperate kasi nga, I need a fix. 